there so that keeps it nice and clean. There you go. Our neighbor made us, like I was saying before, did I say yesterday? Made us homemade fudge. So good. Once it pops into your head, you just can't stop thinking about it. You just gotta go home and grab some. But first we gotta go grab some hot chocolate. It's not that cold out, but I'm being a little bit of a wuss. <laughs> it feels cold. We didn't even really need to have the vehicles plugged in tonight. It was only, well, it's only minus eight right now. I only plug the vehicles in around minus 20. Because once it gets down to minus 30, usually these vehicles will start if it's a newer vehicle. But it's very hard on the engine. Uh, if you, when you plug the block heater in, at least it keeps the block a little bit warmer so that the engine can turn over, the oil's a little bit warmer. It's not so hard on it when you want such a cold start, you know? Hopefully makes the engine last just a little bit longer. So I'm on a hot chocolate run, a Timmy run. It's taken my truck a long time to warm up. <laughs> so I hope you are all having a great holiday season. Now that Christmas is over, we got New Year's coming up. I hope you're all having a fantastic time. Like I asked you in yesterday's video, I'm very curious to see how you guys celebrate Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, what do you celebrate? And if you celebrate nothing, why? I need to know. So my wife got me a PS4 for Christmas. I felt like a 13 year old again. I was so excited. It's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> oh, she always makes it a great Christmas. Christmas is very special to her and special to me. And that was awesome. And I know I saw the comments saying the PS5 came out just recently, but I never really go for the newest game consoles. I'm not that hardcore of a gamer. I'm just sort of like a, a casual weekend gamer type of guy. Or once a, well, I'll probably game more now that I got a new console. I had a PS3 up until now. But I'm really excited about this uh, PS4. And uh, I was playing it last night or when I got it, and uh, I actually got motion sickness. Our TV is so big and I was sitting so close to it. And I was playing uh, Call of Duty, World War II. And uh, <laughs> the screen is so big, it actually gave me motion sickness and I had to stop playing. <laughs> you know what's good, when That blizzard that was supposed to come and hit Steinbeck never came. This is all we got. This was from the snowfall the other day. We were supposed to get an extra two feet. They lied. They sit on a throne of lies. I'm sure the snowmobilers were very disappointed. I was going around looking for some uh, Christmas lights to show you, but Steinbeck didn't really go all out this year as much. I know Winnipeg has a couple of displays. They actually have a virtual map that you can go around and follow, and it'll take you to all the best Christmas displays in the city. I really wanted to do that, but uh, it would take quite a while, and there's quite a few of them. You can't see them all, so you sort of got to pick and choose which ones you want to go see, right? Let's see if there's any down here. It's not really dark enough to see them yet. I wanted to show you the hospital, too. The hospital here in town really went all out this year because of, uh, you know, everything going on. They wanted to cheer up the patients and stuff uh, in the hospital. So they went all out and just decked out the entire hospital with tons and tons of Christmas lights. And did a fantastic job. We'll, we'll go past them now. It's not really dark enough to see them in all their glory. But uh, we'll go take a look. I can't get too sidetracked. I gotta bring hot chocolate back home and apparently supper's gonna be ready in 15 minutes. Here starts out here. Can't really see it all, I guess, eh? Ah, uh, we're gonna have to come back here at night sometime. They decorated all these trees with lights right up to the very top. All around the hospital. It's just beautiful at night. If you're in the area, you should definitely come check it out if you haven't already.
Right next door they got Bethesda Place, which is also all decked out in lights. I'm a sucker for Christmas lights. <laughs> I would drive around all night if I could, if I didn't have anything else to do. Just look at Christmas lights. It's a question I could ask you and throw at you too. Do you decorate your house? Yeah, every once in a while when I was on the road too. Jeez, the guy almost hit me. Like, really buddy? There's another lane you can go around. Anyways, what I was going to say is when I was on the road, every once in a while you'd see a truck driver that completely decks his truck out in lights as well. I don't know if it's legal or not, but they do it anyways. That's always a nice sight to see. I like people that go all out for the holidays for Christmas, you know? Like I said, I'm a sucker for Christmas lights. <laughs> is this stop sign for me? It is, isn't it? They have a stop sign too. Most people don't see that stop sign and just drive right through it. So we came to Timmy's, get our hot chocolate. Oh boy, look at this lineup. Oh, fantastic. Wouldn't be Timmy's without a lineup, right? Look at that lifted uh, classic Chevy just up there. You see that? It's a nice truck. Well taken care of or well restored anyways. That's nice. I think it's about to eat that little yellow car in front of it. Looks kind of hungry. So after the holidays are over here, we're going to get back to trucking a little bit. Got a few things going on. I'm excited for the new year. I'm excited to see what's in store. It's a new chapter of my life, you know? I know this past month or so has sort of been all over the place. It's that's sort of how my mind has been as well, and my life as well. It's, it's sort of just been a big transition period as we turn the page from one chapter to the next chapter of my life. I'm still going to be driving trucks. We're just going to be doing something different. I don't know who's driving that big lifted Chevy. It's a nice truck, but... He obviously knows it, and he's trying to get attention. He's revving up his engine, and maybe he knows that little yellow car in front of him, but he keeps like almost rear-ending him. Like sort of going like, run, run, right up against him. Maybe it's his buddy, but he's shining his bright headlights right into his rear view mirror. Huh. That's one thing that a lot of truck owners and people who lift their trucks or even do a leveling kit, they always forget. It seems this way. They always seem to forget that you gotta adjust your headlights then, especially with these new projector lights like I have on my truck right now. If I were to lift the front end of my truck and level it, well, that means that my projector headlights are now shining right in people's eyes and you have to adjust those down. Otherwise, you're blinding everybody on the road. And I mean, you may not care, but it, it must be really nice that you can see where you're going because no one around, no one around you can see where they're going. And when you're driving on a two-lane highway, you want the people coming towards you to be able to see where the lane is and where they're going so that they don't hit you or hit the ditch, you know? A lot of guys don't get that. You know, they just want a big lifted truck. They want a big, big, tough truck. They forget about the lights and they wonder, why is everybody flashing me all the time? It's because your lights are blinding everyone, man. Aim those suckers down just a little bit there, eh? The world will thank you. It's our turn. Hi there, welcome to Simpsons. Can I got a medium hot chocolate, please? Anything else for today? That's it. Alright, 211 at the window. Super duper. Frankie, what you got there? Oh my, what's she got there? Smokes. <laughs> he's old, but he's still got some spunk in him. <laughs> he's such a puppy when there's toys around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can I have it? Can I have it? Take it, I dare you. <laughs> I am the commander. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he's got some power to him. What about this one? That one doesn't have a squeaker in it anymore. Oh no. Chevy and Diesel took it out. That means it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> He'll literally play fetch for hours sometimes. Yes? You're by the door. That door? You, did you want to go out there? You want to go out? Of course you do. All right. All right. Can't get enough of the great outdoors, eh? You got your collar on? Somebody took your collar off already. One second. Right over here. I'm gonna make sure their name tags are on. It's like driving without your license on you. You always have to have your name tag on when you're outside. There we go. Now you got your wallet with you. All right, guys. Go have fun. It's not too cold outside, so it'll be okay for uh, for a few minutes out there. Something's going on over here. I don't know. <laughs> Commander, give me a report. I was Stop trying it. to turn down the volume, but I had the remote backwards in my hands, so I was turning it up. <laughs> Excuse me, wiener. Wiener, can my butt fit beside this glorious wiener? Excuse me. Excuse me. There you go. Hi. Hello, darling. Oh, this is my wife. It's amazing. Isn't she beautiful? Close look. No, oh, not that close. They're going to change their opinions. So we're just wrapping up yesterday's video. We didn't do much. We never did go back uh, after dark to show them the Christmas lights at the hospital. No, Josh got into gaming. She bought me a PS4. So really, it's my fault. I love it. I felt like a kid. I love how much he loves it. I'm like, yes! Hit the nail on the head. Can't wait till I get this vlog edited and up so you can watch it so I can come back and play some more. And I just color in my coloring book while he plays and then I watch a little bit. I don't like the war games. Like, he really likes Call of Duty, so I did buy him uh, Call of Duty World War II, but he can't play it on this big screen because it gives him motion sickness. <laughs> I think I was sitting too close. I had my chair, like, right there. I was, like, looking at the screen as I was playing. I, I got motion sickness. Trucker Josh got a little sick on Christmas <laughs> Day due to that. But uh, I do like watching like the racing games and stuff. They get my adrenaline pumping when I watch them. I like playing them too sometimes, but I've never played on a PlayStation. So I ordered a controller with gift cards I got from her mom uh, for Christmas. I ordered a new controller for her. Those controllers, like the original genuine PlayStation ones, they're like a hundred bucks. There's probably a deal somewhere that everyone's going to say in the comment section now where I can get them for like 20 bucks. But... Yeah, but we want them to genuinely genuinely be PlayStation controllers. Mm -hmm. We made the mistake of buying cheap China knockoffs once. Yep, doesn't work. So I got a new controller so she can play. But I want a fancy colored one. I want the bright blue one with the purple. Well, I got one so the nephews can play then when they come and visit and she's going to get a fancy one for herself. Eventually, once they come down in price and they're back in stock. Yeah. I can't imagine what the PS5 controllers would be now that that just got released. Because the PS4 ones were, were already at 100. And then we looked at the differences between the PS4 and PS5. Unless you're a serious gamer, there's no point in upgrading from a PS4 Pro. This is a PS4 Pro, mm -hmm. not a base. If you're at a base, yeah, there's a point in upgrading to a PS5. But not when you're, you have a PS4 Pro. Yeah, and I don't. we don't need a PS5 if this thing can do everything. This thing's already got all of our, like, Disney Plus, Prime, Netflix on it, and Internet, plus all the games. There's there's no reason for me to, to have a PS5. Spend I didn't want like a thousand bucks on a console. Expensive, and they don't do anything that this one doesn't, really. This thing was already pricey enough. I wasn't going to go above and beyond. I can imagine. But it was exactly <laughs> what I wanted a PS4. So Santa was really good to me. Delivered through my through my wife. Maybe I'm Santa. You're the Maybe you are. It's 2020. You know? Have you seen Noel on Disney Plus? She becomes Santa. That's an amazing movie, by the way. You could be Lady Santa. I could be. To wear yogurt pants. I never thought of that. I thought I was Santa. Oh. Maybe there's two. Two Santas. Maybe. Anyways, I'll let you get to your show. Thanks. I'll take all of these fine people to the back. It's really my tea that I want to get to. 
it's snowing outside again, so we're gonna wake up tomorrow with a nice blanket of fresh snow. I thought that I might be uh, working tomorrow morning yet. Uh, they were gonna give me a call if they wanted me to come in in the morning, and I haven't gotten a call yet, so I might not be might not be going in. Oh, my dogs are digging. Diesel, I saw him digging just a little bit. Oh, what's he doing? He's eating something. One second. Let's see, let's see if I can open this. Hey! Stop digging. Stop eating garbage. Diesel, come here. Stop that. Stop eating dirt. Children. It's only about minus seven out there right now. It's not very cold at all. That's why we're getting the snow. It only snows when it's warmer. When it's really, really cold, it doesn't snow. There's that. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate you coming to hang out. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna go check out my mom and dad's new piece of land. Uh, I'm excited to go see what uh, little piece of paradise they bought near us. Pretty much gonna be right around the corner or like right behind us. So, uh, where, where we have our spot out in the bush. So now we both have a piece of land there and they're gonna be building before us. Cause they, they wanna get going, they wanna build a retirement paradise there for them and uh, for themselves. We're probably going to start the majority of it in about five years. So we've got some time yet. And we really like this tiny little house in this little yard that we have. It's, it's growing on us pretty quick. It's nice being, uh, it's, it's not like we need to rush out of here. But uh, once mom and dad are, maybe we'll help them get their lot developed. And then once we get them settled in there, then we'll start on ours. Maybe we can do it at the same time. Who knows? Only the future will tell. So you gotta subscribe to our channel here so that you don't miss anything because we're gonna make daily videos and keep you guys updated of what's all going on all the time in our life. We have a lot going on. And like I was saying uh, just a second ago, I thought I would be working uh, first thing tomorrow morning. I don't think I'm going in tomorrow. Uh, we are starting something new in the new year though. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's in the following week. So I'm not too really too sure of my new schedule of how it's going to work. Uh, but flying by the seat of our pants here. Let's see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Thanks everybody for tagging along and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.